everybody, Mr. Boma from Mr. Boma's Balloons here, back to answer another frequently asked question. Why do my eyes always turn out too big? Hmm, I think you're talking about the eyes on your balloon sculptures, right? Okay, here's what I think is happening. You're talking about when you take a white round balloon and you twist it in half in order to make two eyes, right? Um, and what you're doing is you put your air in the, the balloon and then you're going to twist it in half and you figure I want my eyes to be half this size and so you blow up your balloon the amount that you you think you need to and when you twist it in half the eyes are bigger than half this size what's going on well math that's what's going on let me show you Okay, so here on the left we have the two bubbles that represent the eyeballs that we're going to twist. And on the right, this represents the balloon that we're inflating, the, the full balloon. So each of these bubbles we expect to be 50% the diameter of the original. And so here you can see they are 50% the diameter of the original bubble, but we've got a problem here. If you look here at the top and then at the bottom, all of that space, that represents air that does not fit in to those smaller bubbles. Well, that air has to go somewhere. That air has to go into those bubbles. It's the volume of air that's being split in half, not the diameter of the sphere. And so in order to accommodate that air, those bubbles have to stretch. And we're dealing with latex balloons, and so the latex does stretch. And so each of those bubbles is not 50% the diameter of the original. It holds 50% of the volume of air, but the diameter is larger than that. So let's do some math and find out what the diameter is. So let's take a look at the formula for volume of a sphere. V for volume equals 4 thirds pi times the radius cubed. Radius is half of the diameter. So to make this easy, let's say that we blow that balloon up to a diameter of 2 inches. That means that the radius will be 1 inch. So it'll be V equals 4 thirds pi times 1 cubed. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. Anything times 1 is just itself. So that means that basically we can ignore that. We don't need it. So let's solve the rest. V equals... 4 thirds times pi, 3.14. And since we're multiplying here, we need to put that over 1. But here's the thing. We're dealing with balloons, and our measurements aren't exact. The balloon is not a perfect sphere. And so it's all an estimate anyhow. So let's make this really easy on ourselves, and let's just ignore the 0.14. So now we have 4 thirds times 3 over 1. Because we've got a 3 on top here and a 3 on the bottom here, we can cross-cancel those. And so our volume is equal to 4 inches cubed. Made the math as easy as possible there. Now we're going to split that volume into the two eyeballs. So each eyeball will have a volume of 2. So I'm putting that where I had the V before. The volume is, is 2 equals 4 thirds pi times the radius cubed. What we're solving for now is the R. We want to know what will be the radius of the eyeballs when we twist that balloon in half. Well, we saw before that this 4 thirds pi, over here when we did this, 4 thirds pi, when we looked at that, it was approximately 4. So that's going to make this easy. 2 equals 4 times the radius cubed. Now we'll divide each side by 4. We end up with 1 half. These cancel. 1 half equals r cubed. We take the cube root of each of those cube root of one-half equals r. And so that means that our radius ends up equal to 
seven, nine, approximately. Again, these are all approximations, but that's close enough, 0.79. So that's 79%, 79% the size of the original, not 50%. 79%, almost 80% the size of the original. That's how big the eyeballs will turn out. I know, math. Ugh. Your eyes are probably glazed over now. What that means, though, in simple terms, is if you take your white round and you split it in half, the bubbles that you get are not 50% the size of the original. They're almost 80% the size of the original. So that means if you want one inch diameter eyes, you don't blow your balloon up to two inches in diameter. You blow it up to an inch and a quarter. If you want two inch diameter eyes, you don't blow it up to four inches, you blow it up to two and a half inches. So hopefully that will help you so you don't end up with those bug-eyed sculptures anymore. All right, I know the math was torturous, but hopefully this has helped you and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching, bye-bye.